All right, well, here we are, cutting out of the final intake seat. Um, as you can see, we finished the exhaust seats earlier. I showed you that before. This is 996 head. Uh, bronze intake seats. We just finished this one right here. You can see that uh, all the angles are cut on it. Now, on an intake, we'll want, we don't want to use a radius on an intake. I have a special cutter that I use for cutting the intake seats with uh, various different angles on it that I found uh, through some research and through some flow bench stuff which works really good for low lift airflow. Uh, I showed you the full radius cutter but I won't show you the intake cutter because that's top secret. So if you want to see the thing up close you'll just have to get one of my valve jobs. I keep rotating this head here so you can't see the cutter. Haha. Uh -huh. So we're going to rough out this uh, next seat and um, get it close and uh, show you the intake seats getting cut and that'll finish us up for the 996 head brilliant bronze intake seats with oversized stainless steel valves. We use bronze on the intake side instead of brilliant because bronze doesn't need to suck heat off of the valve. You could use brilliant on both sides, but there's really much really point in doing it. And I suspect the only reason why Ducati does it, brilliant on all their seats, like on the R model and the 749R and the 999R, is just for cost. It's cheaper just to get them all made at one time out of one material. Um, Bronze is uh, the same exact price, but it's a little, you know, it would cause two different operations to make bronze seats instead of, you know, just make them all brilliant. So you can see it's quite messy. And we're going to stop about right there because we're just going to rough it and we'll finish it off later. Cutter. And luckily that cutter's got all kinds of shavings attach, attached to it or else you'd be able to see the profile of that thing. Let me spin that around there. So as you can see, we're uh, getting close. Seats are just about formed the way we want to do them. Now if you look across here, you can see right here's a lip from the seat where it sticks above. Well, that's going to get milled off later because we're going to resurface this head. This head's going to get milled, and if and, and if that sticks up a little bit, it'll be taken down. Let's see if you can get down. See in the side the port there. It's just an iPhone camera, so again, close-up stuff's not that great pretty good shot. You can see how straight the port is leading up to you know, all the angles. some of this debris. You can kind of see a little bit better in here. The one we just cut. And we'll call it quits of that. If you got any questions, email me. www.foxperformanceengines.com or email me at benfox at foxperformanceengines.com